Welcome back to Why in the Morning, and this is Strength of a Woman. And my guest of the day was a child superstar. She's been on TV for a minute now. And uh, yes, before I introduce her, be sure to interact with us on our social media handles at White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on, uh, on Facebook. Special thanks to Joy Muchache and Alex for bringing us breaking views, uh, always starting our Wednesdays on a laughing note. So if you interact with a video that you think might break the views or make people laugh, just send it our way on our social media handles below the screen, or as I say them, hashtag is why in the morning, hashtag is Queen's Wednesday, and my guest, Goes by the name Jane, one boy, Karimsana. Thank you. All right, so I like that Queen's Wednesday vibe. Oh, you feel the Queen's Wednesday vibe? All right, and Strength of a Woman is the name of this particular segment. Yeah. So this emoji, do you know, have you ever seen this emoji right here? Yeah. <laughs> you That's me it. all the it's way. It's not this, it's this. <laughs> Because right. this is too mainstream. If I missed anything <laughs> in your intro, your camera is number four. I like to give people a chance to just express themselves and list the credentials like Professor Magoa. Well, la, 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 la. Mm. Mine is not so long. Uh -huh. uh, my name is Jenny Mboike Berra. I'm a presenter working with y 254 sister station. Mm -hmm. To go on the other end, I'm a uh -huh. presenter on I think ABC. they call it the mother station. The mother oh, station. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the mother station. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am a presenter there. Uh, uh -huh. I host um, part of three shows. Uh -huh. That is Good Morning Kenya, Beyond the Headlines, and uh, recently started one. It's called Take on Tech. Take on Tech. Yes, Take uh -huh. on Tech. Technology take or take on your take tech. on technology. All right. So uh, your background is mass communication. Yes, um, I did mass communication at African Nazarene University. Mm -hmm. I joined immediately after campus. Mm -hmm. um, along the way, challenges here and there as a life. I mm -hmm. took some time off, mm -hmm. but I went back. I finished in 2014. Graduated in 2015. All right. So many people, when they see you on screen, you're glowing. You look like sunshine. Uh, they don't understand what it takes uh, to get to where you've gotten to. How did you manage to get on TV while still in school first. It's not too easy to do that. Well, mm -hmm. um, actually, um, let me take you a bit back. Mm -hmm. um, I had my daughter when I was in campus. Mm -hmm. I was just 20. How old is she now? She's six. Six? She's six years, man. Uh, when well, she sees this, what's her name? Ella. She's Hi, called Ella. Ella. <laughs> All right. She's six years old. Mm -hmm. So I had her when I was 20, so I had to take some time off of school. Mm -hmm. um, took about two triceps off, went mm -hmm. back in mid-2014. No, mm -hmm. actually the beginning of 2014, that's when I went back to school. Mm -hmm. She was about a year, and from then, you know, I had to grow up fast. Mm -hmm. I had to grow up. I was no longer you just a kid. You were forced to grow up. Yeah, you <laughs> had to grow up real fast fast. Mm -hmm. So um, went back to school, my grades improved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you can't have a kid and be out here kidding mm, around. You cannot. Uh -huh. You cannot be a child and have a child. Uh -huh. So my grades went up and then a buddy of mine from from high school, mm -hmm. she just called me up like, hey, Jane, there's uh, some auditions ha there's some auditions uh, that are happening at KBC. So you go check it out. Mm -hmm. Like, ah, cool. Chukwana, ka group. We mm -hmm. all came here. Um, it was, but we were here a week earlier. Uh -huh. The auditions were the following week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we went back, then came back the next week. Um, there were like 600 people mm -hmm. auditioning for the same position. Mm -hmm. So we started 600. with 600 people. We were 600, 600 of us auditioning for that job. Okay. And it was only for How three cool. slots. You didn't feel like Ashatun <laughs> Dome? Imagine you just had to try. Uh -huh. Because we had tried applying here and there, mm -hmm. we were already aware that you know, Kitoka Wenje, you need a job. Mm -hmm. So before and you and it's better to start, better to start early. Mm -hmm. So we just came here with a buddy mm -hmm. of mine. We tried our shot. Um, I managed to go through the first round. We were mm -hmm. called again. We came thirteen rounds. Mm -hmm. 13 rounds until we were finally chosen. That was um, mid 2014. Mm -hmm. So I got my first job on the. 18th of July, 2014, that's what we, we that's You have the exact date. <laughs> yes. That's the first time we went on air. <laughs> that's when we this went on air for the first time. This was an entertainment show, or is yes. an entertainment show. Still is. It's still running, uh, but you're not part of it anymore. Not anymore. Uh, is, um, is Club One still fam? Ah, Club One is still fam. And mm -hmm. we've been together for over four years. Mm -hmm. I just resigned last year in October. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it gets to that point. Gets to that you point. you feel you have done all that you could. Uh -huh. And you need to move on. You need to step back in mm -hmm. order to move on. How do you know it's that time? Um, let me tell you something about this industry. Mm -hmm. um, we are in a very superficial industry. Mm -hmm. People see you and they judge you from what they see you. Mm -hmm. But in order to stay grounded, you need to know who you are. Mm -hmm. You need to understand how you feel or what mm -hmm. is your mental state. So if it gets to a point where you're doing it just because you have to do it, mm -hmm. 
you need to step back because it'll get to a point you'll start hating what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And I think it cuts across so many industries, but mm -hmm. for this industry, you need to realize that. All right. So you always need to realize uh, when you get to that point where you're doing it just to, to just do it. Just because you have to do it, just not because you want to do it. Uh -huh. And mind you, I loved my show. Like, mm -hmm. I, it was only once a week uh -huh. for four years, uh -huh. and I did it with my entire heart. Uh -huh. But it got to that point where, you know what, Jane, you need to step back uh -huh. in order to move forward. All right, so you, uh, you had to go to class, uh, but still come back, come to work mm. uh, one day a week. How is it uh, being a celebrity in school? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I finished in 2014 my uh -huh. campus studies. Uh -huh. um, I did my internship here, so I didn't spend much time in school mm -hmm. because I graduated in 2015. I finished mm -hmm. my study in 20, my studies in 2014, so I wasn't... Um, as much in school, but it was, yeah, as right. I. <laughs> Let's get back to the superficial, the superficial nature of the industry. Yes. All right, what are some of the, some of the things that you, you, you faced that you actually say, oh, oh my, I wouldn't have faced this thing if I was a man in this industry? Well, everybody faces challenges, but you uh -huh. know, being a woman uh -huh. in itself is already something that people have an opinion about people mm -hmm. always have an opinion about how you look mm -hmm. how you talk how you walk having a child mm -hmm. especially you know given that i had a child when i was young people were always looking at you like hmm, okay mm -hmm. mm -hmm. why will you get a jikwa industry mm -hmm. you are too young to have gotten there by yourself mm -hmm. you must have compromised here and there mm -hmm. and you know some of these things can break You've you listed quite a number if along you let the way, them. Yeah? yes because mm -hmm. it has actually happened mm -hmm. it happens it uh -huh. has happened. And how do you know? People say this straight to your face or you feel the energy? Constantly, there's one who actually said it straight to my face. It's one of, one of the guests that I had. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was like, Sunny Ajay, see, 20 like this, like this, Niku. Wow. Straight up. Nim Sunny? Yes. I'm a new DJ. Nim Sunny. <laughs> People actually have the audacity to uh -huh. say that straight up to your face just because of how you look uh -huh. and how you carry yourself. All right. Yeah. What should be in your arsenal as a woman to fight things like this? What are some of the things you, you should have? You need to be very strong mentally. Uh -huh. For this industry, you need to be very strong mentally because uh -huh. once you have yourself put together mentally, uh -huh. most of these physical things won't shake you. It right. took me a while. Uh -huh. I didn't just wake up and like, ha, strength uh -huh. of a woman. No, <laughs> I right. needed to build For that. For strength to be there, there must be exercise, right? Yes. All right, so how do you exercise your brain to be strong or to be mentally strong? How, what, what are some of the exercises you put your brain through? Those internal conversations. Mm -hmm. You need to have those reaffirming thoughts, those reaffirming um, routines and things that you do to just remind you, like, yo, I am good enough. Mm -hmm. I don't need to be affirmed by somebody else out there. And, as, you know, for me, I really... Um, focus heavily on my daughter. She mm -hmm. gives me so much strength. Mm -hmm. I'm not just living for me. I mm -hmm. have a kid to think about always. Mm -hmm. So when that comes to mind, when mm -hmm. somebody's out here trying to, you know, being mm -hmm. negative and a letter mm -hmm. corruption, Donald Trump, all those things, mm -hmm. you have to have something that anchors you mm -hmm. and reminds you who you are and what your value. All right. Yeah. So uh, when it comes to teachers, they have a union. Not <laughs> uh, when it comes to doctors, they have a union. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like us as media personalities, we need a union as well? To there bring there are, up? but you know, the sad thing about uh, this industry, we are so fragmented. You think that in Nini, Kenya, in Uganda, in <laughs> Tanzania, and we're all in the media industry. Mm -hmm. Egos, uh, Zina, Pigana, Sana. Uh -huh. it's, it's a big problem such that, you know, when you need something from another media house, uh -huh. If you don't know somebody, that will be a hustle. Mm -hmm. We are not as united as we ought to be. Mm -hmm. And yet we are the ones who are shaping the public opinion, mm -hmm. guiding what the Creating nation, the you know, watchdogs. Mm -hmm. But we are still biting our own tails. Mm -hmm. So we can improve on that. We can improve on that. All right. Uh, Nick Tokapa, I do a lot of entertainment work yeah. um, in the music industry in terms of creating content, making music, yeah. um, management and all. Uh, so one time I saw... Uh, people dissing Will Paul, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then an, a, a fellow musician shared the post of all the disses people had mm -hmm. on Will Paul. Yeah. And then it hit me like, all right, you're an artist, and you're supporting this kind of behavior towards artists. Uh, so one day it's going to come to you. Mm -hmm. All right. When you see 
your fellow queens in the industry. Recently, we had Jackie Maribe. Mm. Uh, we have had the likes of uh, even the one who got appointed to to state house. Kanze. People had yeah. a lot of things to say about her. People even took a picture of her wearing a certain shirt and the president wearing a certain shirt and compared the two. What What are some of the things you do in such situations? Do you have an opinion about it, or you just sit back and say, ah? Wow, people will be people. You know, you don't have to always be public with your opinions. If you mm -hmm. can help that person on a very personal level, mm -hmm. you can reach out to them, please do that. Mm -hmm. But just as I told you, if you're not strong mentally, these things will break you because mm -hmm. this industry is cruel. Mm -hmm. with the fact that we're living in this social media era, there's mm -hmm. so many keyboard warriors who are ready to just look at <laughs> what you're doing wrong mm -hmm. before they look at what you're doing good. Mm -hmm. People will be quick to focus on the negative as opposed to the good. Mm -hmm. So you are supposed to, as a person, mm -hmm. it really needs to start with you. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'm not all about bashing people. Mm -hmm. I, everyone has an opinion. You're entitled to your own opinion. Mm -hmm. But if it harms someone, mm -hmm. why should you do it? Uh -huh. Especially on these social media platforms. Mm -hmm. And that's why I told you, if you can help them mm -hmm. without putting it out there, uh -huh. do so. But if, if you, you can feel, reach out to them, yeah. if you know them personally, yes. you can DM them you can and just DM give them. them. You, don't, you don't even have to know them personally. Uh -huh. You squeeze it, just slide in their DM, uh -huh. they'll get it. Just give them a message of encouragement. Yes, but if you're it also able way. to just highlight the situation and just try and bring the focus on the evil that is there, mm -hmm. please do so. Mm -hmm. Especially we that are in the limelight. Mm -hmm. It starts with us. Hurt people, hurt, hurt people. people. All right, white five four channel on Twitter, white five four underscore channel on Instagram, and white five four on Facebook. Hashtag is why in the morning. Hashtag is strength of a woman. And be sure to interact with us, please. We have uh, the beautiful Miss right here. You can uh, direct your questions to her on our social media handle. What uh, pataji wa stock stock kidogo? My handle is Jane Mumboi across all social media platforms. That is J A I N Wamboi. Mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So simple. All right. So uh, my very able host, Joy, had a conversation about self-esteem yeah. on, uh, on Monday. And uh, she taught me something really important. When you air out your personal experience with mm. some things as an influential person, as a personality on TV, yeah. uh, you inspire people uh, to actually fight it. So is it something you've had to do with when it comes to people saying, are you showing a bow? Oh, dem ala fanya nini kwa TV? Ati kubo, even i bamba ya kuyote. So is it something you've had to deal with when it comes to self-esteem? Um, we all have our moments, but mm -hmm. when it comes to especially your craft, mm -hmm. it, when you put in the work and the time that you feel you put in your all, mm -hmm. people's opinions should be, shouldn't be able to sway you, mm -hmm. because what you put in is what will show. Mm -hmm. So if you don't put in work, it won't show. But mm -hmm. if you put in work, it will show, and people will respect you for that. Wise words from a very decent woman right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what would you tell those ladies that watch you on TV and say, oh, she's perfect, I wish she, I was like her? Oh, my goodness. No one is perfect, man. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not perfect. I'm just any other regular junior. Uh -huh. They're like, what? Udem you panda matatu? Like, yeah, why shouldn't I? Uh -huh. I'm not perfect. Should not change your life. Or... Yeah, I mean, be grounded. Uh -huh. Industry, you will come to pay the consequences much later in life. Mm -hmm. So you need to... Find yourself, ground yourself, uh, yourself, and you'll be able to navigate the journey without, you know, mm -hmm. experiencing the really bad bit of it. Yes, you can ask mm -hmm. Kobe, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't know where she went, by the way. Ali and uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, now uh, transitioning from entertainment <laughs> to sitting with uh, some of the uh, best politicians in the country yes. uh, having conversations with them and now you have a new show called tech talk i like the take name by tech. the way take, take, take on tech take yes. on tech uh, i like the the the, the alliteration in that mm. uh how was it transitioning um when i resigned from club one i took mm. like a month off mm -hmm. just regathering regrouping mm -hmm. rethinking my life and then um i started looking around but the opportunity came calling mm -hmm. it was time and i was taken up and it wasn't hard mm -hmm. because from since the time i was a kid i always wanted to be a news anchor mm -hmm. i've already had one goal in life <laughs> one goal mm -hmm. to be a news anchor but uh -huh. that is yet to happen mm -hmm. But I joined the industry through entertainment. Mm -hmm. So along the journey, I would practice here and there. Mm -hmm. And when this came along, it wasn't hard to adjust. Mm -hmm. It's just about the preparation that goes into what you're doing before you go on air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. It wasn't so hard, mm -hmm. but it was 
something new. It was a challenge, but uh -huh. I embraced it. But kusoma imekuwa mingi ya? Hey, hey, Luda. Yes. Thank you very much, Shane, for coming through. We appreciate you so much. Just share with them your social media handles before you give them your last remark. And this one is for the boy child and the guy yeah. child. Don't see discriminating for that. All right. Uh, my social media handles are just at Jade Wamboy across all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. That is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, shout out to everyone who's tuning into this show. Mede, thank you for putting focus on, you know, the strength of women out there. Mm -hmm. um, we are complaining that we are not given as much power. But you know what? They say the power... The woman has the power to build or break a home in her tongue. Mm -hmm. We have so much power, but we are yet to know mm, what, how this. much power we hold. Uh, this, <laughs> hey, it can do good and bad. Mm -hmm. So for my young girls out there, just because things happened when you were younger, it doesn't mean that that should define your life. Mm -hmm. I had a kid when I was 20, and right now it's probably the best thing that redirected my life. Because, you know, mm -hmm. if... I hadn't had her, life would have been totally different. Maybe I wouldn't have been here. Mm -hmm. But whatever happens in your life, it is happening for a reason to prepare you for something that is going to help you in future. She is the best thing that happened to me right now. She resented me. She made me focus better and mm -hmm. become a better person. Even for my young guys out there, mm -hmm. don't let society put you down. Mm -hmm. Because people will have their own opinion. Their society has rules that we don't know who wrote them, by the way. Mm -hmm. We just found them there and they are not as encouraging maybe in whatever you want to do especially the creatives mm -hmm. we are living in a society where creatives are not taken seriously it is a beautiful art that mm -hmm. we need to embrace and before the society gets to a point where they're actually embracing that it'll take us time mm -hmm. so just stay strong stay true to your craft and at the end of the day it'll pay when and where can they catch you live on tv and youtube Monday to Thursday, every Monday to Thursday from 6 to 10 a.m. on KBC, the mm -hmm. mother station. Mm -hmm. um, Sundays, 6 to 7 p.m. for Beyond the Headlines. And on Thursdays, 7.30 to 8.30 on Take on Tech. Thank you very much for coming through, Jane. Thank we you for having you so me. Much. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. I keep will. Blowing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yes, we've come to the end of Strength of a Woman uh, for the day. I go by the name of Bai Moses, or it's Bai Moni's social media platform. Uh, Kalami Val is coming up next with uh, Girls Talk Hot Topic. You don't want to miss this one. Don't touch that down.